Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to House Flipper. So we're going to carry on doing a few more of the jobs. We had a job that we were busy doing, but I stopped and saved that progress halfway through because I wanted to just make sure this does actually work. We're supposed to now be able to go into the order in the middle. So we're going to go to this one. Hopefully it should have saved our progress on the order as well. Let's just go to the house. And yes, it does appear to have saved our progress. We've done this one already. This room is all done. This room here is all done. Excellent. Now we come into here. This room is done. And this room in here is not yet done. So we need to clean some dirt in here. We'll do that first. Uh, so we want to go uh, clean like that. There's, there, there is some dirt in here, but it's not a great deal. So we'll just polish that through. 66% clean already. There's, looks like, it's uh, a little bit down there. We're 100% clean. And now we need to get a towel radiator from in here. So if I go rad like that, mountable towel radiator, buy now, and that one goes onto the wall on there. So we need to... Do that one in, that one on top. Let's see if we can do this without creating a pool of shame. I'm confident that we can. There, click that one in. That one on, that one on, and do that one up. We did it! We've actually done it without creating our very own pool of shame. Like we did last time. So now we go into this room in here. We do a little bit of cleaning. There on the floor, and that's it in here. So then we can go to cleaning like this, and we can go around and we can clean all the bits around the edges. And then this room, we've got four objects that we've got to place. We've also got uh, paint grey and royal blue. Now, the bathroom, we didn't actually paint at all. The second, well, well no, it was cut the tiles, but we didn't use the, we didn't use the other tiles at all. Didn't use any of them. And it still said that it was alright. So I'm not sure that you've got to use both paints in order to get it to work. But anyway, we've done that bit there. So now I can go to the radiator. Let's just go out of there. And I want to go radiator again like that by now. And that one goes on the wall. Assembly. So we put that one in place. And then we do it up like that. And we put that one in place. And do it up like that. And switch that one on. Uh, clean to windows. So we use this bad boy right here. Right around the edges. Once you've done around the edges of the window, it's really quite quick to finish this these off. It doesn't take all that much. I'm still it's still difficult to use this because you're inclined to in order to, like, get it to change position, like, if I want it to go up, I'm inclined to pull the thing down, but it doesn't. You, you gotta look, you got to imagine you're pulling it around by a piece of string. Ignore the handle on the back, and just imagine that you're pulling the front of it like a piece of string, and, you know, as though it's got a piece of string on it. You've got a lead on it, and then it works. So, so long as you can sort of focus on it doing it like that, it's absolutely fine. It works really quite well. There we go. So there's two windows cleaned. Uh, paint. We'll do the paint now. So grey and royal blue. I'm going to go royal blue first. I'll go like that. I'll go royal. Sconce royal. Royal blue. There. Uh, buy now. Drop you down there. And paint. Right. Now, it doesn't actually, I think, count. Oh, it does. It's, well, it's counted those. Does it count that? It does count that as well. I didn't think it did. I'm never really quite sure if it's counting that bit under the window, around the windows or not. Because sometimes it seems to, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm never really quite sure about that. Let's take those two. I'll tell you what, let's do one of them there. No, it even does that one as well. It's, it's counting that one in there as well. Right the way through those. And then... All the way along there. you got to get it to, to point in a straight line. That does help. And now we'll go in behind the radiator. Probably would have been easier to paint the wall if we'd done that before we put the radiator on the wall. 
I know you get special brushes that have got like long handles and a, 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 a kink on them as well so that you can paint behind the radiators fairly easily, but it doesn't make it any easier to get behind the radiators, not really. They're all right, those brushes, but generally when I've used them, I've just ended up making a horrible mess. So I, I've never been that impressed with those types of radiators, uh, no, with those types of brushes. And I have done a fair bit of painting in my time, never professionally. I've never, I've never done painting professionally. I gotta be honest with you, it's not really a dream I've ever had to, to go and do this for a full-time living. Um, I, I know people who do do it, but it's never really been one that I've personally wanted to get involved in. Pull that all the way around there. And, of course, now the big question is, will it let me get away with... It will. Grey and royal blue. I've done it all in royal blue and is still happy with me doing that. I'm going to turn the light on so I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Cell. That one was empty. And we've got four. So we want double bed Hermes for the first one. And that's going to go right there, I think. So we go back into here and we come out of that one. And then we go Hermes. Double bed Hermes right there. So we can choose what color. Bedding as well we can choose. We can go for white and grey. Let's go for some colourful stuff here, and I like oak with the colourful bedding. I like that. That That is a good look. Okay. Spin that bad boy around. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That's, that's looking good. Uh, wardrobe virus something. Which is there. Um, wardrobe vira. Vira? Vira. I don't know. Wood cherry, black details, venge. We'll go beach. We can't get oak, but we can go for beach. So we get that one and that one there. Yeah. And put that one. We'll stuff that into the corner. It's actually not quite into the corner, but it's close enough. Double chest of drawers, mal something. M A L. Double bed, double chest of drawers, Mal. Beach, older, venge, grey. Mm. We ought to go beach, I suppose, because it'll match that one. And this chest of drawers will go over in this corner. Over here. Go on. You can do this. There we go. And bookcase, limb. Bookcase can go next to the wardrobe right there, can't it? So we need a limb bookcase. L-I-M. There we go. Is that one right there? And this one, pine, cream. I don't have any more oak. Steel design or brass? We go with that and we go with pine. By now. You're the wrong way around. Uh, there's a socket right there. So we'll put it beside the socket like that. There. This room is now done completely. So we can step out of this room. This one is done. Let's move to the next room. This one is done. Done that room. And we'll move to this room in here. This room in here. Ooh. That's another room that's going to require like a whole load of decorating. You know, well, let's let's get this room done. Let's do this one as well. we we get this one done. So let's close that one. We've got to clean dirt, clean the windows, place beds, paint. It looks like that other stuff stays there. So let's let's clean first. The way round like that. Then we'll go around with the mop and we'll do the rest of the cleaning down there. Uh, there we go. There's that one and that one over there. Right round the edge. Like that. And then there. Okay. There's that bit. Now I want to clean the rest of the cleaningness. Like this. Clean around the window and around the floors. Get all of these bits. Look at it. Look at all this grungy mess. Absolutely disgusting. There's a lot of mold around the edges of this house. That room is... Clean dirt is now done. We've got mount devices paint. Sleepy blue. So we can go very quickly in here. And we can do sleepy blue. There, that should be one tin of paint should do this room. Last time we had one tin of paint, 
did the whole room almost perfectly exactly. So I go like that and under there and do them and then... Oh, I need some more paint. Refill. M like that and then whiz that across the bottom. We'll keep whizzing around. We'll go right around the corner here. Do a wrap around like that. Over into that corner. You can now finish incomplete. I'm not going to finish the incomplete order. I intend to try my absolute hardest to finish this order completely. Because this, this elderly gentleman here is in his house. I believe, what was it? His wife had passed away or something? It wasn't good. It, it wasn't good anyway. I think it was his wife had passed away and he wanted to move. Um, because he had some bad memories in the last house. Um, well, not, well, not bad memories. He, he didn't want to stay somewhere... We had so many memories of his wife, so he, he's moved to this new house and he wants it all done up as quickly as possible so that he can move into it. So we're going to do that for him. Make sure that it is all ready to roll. I'm going to need another tin of paint in this room. There we go. And a bit more here. Right, so we're going to want to get round the back there. And then get those. That's most... Oh, I did, I did manage to get all of those in that corner. So then we'll come out this way. Above the door like that. And we've got this one wall left. Do we have enough paint to finish this wall? Or are we going to have to buy another entire tin full in order to finish it off? We, ha we have no paint left. It's gone. We, we have no paint left whatsoever. I've got to buy another one. <laughs> Didn't think I'd actually have to do that. Mind. Right. That across there, and that one is now done. It's all painted, so I will sell that object there. Then I need to get the radiator and get that one on the wall. So far, we have managed to do this entire property without establishing a pool of shame anywhere. Can we still, can we maintain our 100% success rate? Because the other place we did, we, we, we had these puddles of shame absolutely everywhere. And it, it was terrible. It was, it was absolutely awful. So we've done that. Uh, bed solid something. I don't know what's so Bed solid. Let's, let's just go uh, solid. Bed solid. Ooh. Now, what do we do? Steel. Oak. I'm going for oak. Brown stripes. I'm not sure about that. A light yellow mattress, yeah. Hmm. I think I used that last time. I don't want white. We're going for brown stripes. We're going for a classic 70s look here. Yes, the classic 70s look is pretty awful, to be honest. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway because some people actually like this look. I have no idea why. We need a computer desk in here. Go back into there and get rid of that one. Oh, this, this sounds familiar. This is much the same as what we did in the last room, I think. Uh, Grey, wood, cherry, venge, steel. That's very boring. Wood, cherry. I'm going to go with the wood, cherry. We'll, we'll do that and we'll put that one there. No, actually. No. I'm going to put this one... Some people like the computer desks to be in front of a window. Me? I've got my nearer window. It's definitely not in front of the window. I can turn my head and look out the window if I want to. I normally have the curtains drawn so I don't get any glare. And uh, then the lighting is just right from the artificial lights. Uh, so, I, I, yeah. It doesn't make much odds to me, really, if it's next to a window or not. Uh, office chair. Oops. I'm going to do that. I'm going to press tab. So we go to there and we go off. Yes, chair. And I'm going to take a black leather chair. Turn you around. That one is there. Ready to go. Wardrobe Charles. Charlie the wardrobe. Go on, Charlie. There is our wardrobe Charles. And we're going to go... Ooh, oak. Yeah, we'll go oak. This one. Classic oak. There. Draws Mal. We've done the drawers mal before. I'm, I'm guessing he just wants like a, a job lot for this one. For these. Uh, chest of drawers. Oh, I think it was just... A, I think it was one. 
Uh, we've got older. Older, I think. We'll go with older. And it was just a single chest of drawers, Mal. I'm going to put that right next to it there. That is everything done in this room. Thank you very much. Close that door. That's the basement down there. Let's go into here. What do we got? This one is clean dirt. So we've already done that one. This one in here is remove trash, clean dirt, mount devices, and clean the window. So not particularly hard to do this room. We've just got a lot of cleaning to do. And that shouldn't actually take all that long either. Clean that bit there. Like that. Round the window. A bit round there. Um... That's all done there. It's, it's, it's just down this end. Bit around the window there. I've, I've got two bits of dirt left. One single bit of dirt left. Where is it? Where is this? I know, I know where it is. We're going to have to just take that one. And we're going to have to move that one. Over there. There is our errant piece of dirt. Which we can clean up. That's now done. And then we need to go into here. We need to go to Rad so that we can get that last one. There we go. Take you. Put you on the wall. Go to Assemble. Put you in place. There and there. And then we go to that one and put that one in place. Like that. Job done. Right. Now, take you. Put you back there. I'm 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 stuck. Right, apparently it doesn't like the idea of me doing that. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. There we go. That's fine. And then we want to clean the window. I got two windows in this room to clean as well. There we go. Remember, drag it round by a piece of string. You, you, you're leading it by the nose. You're not um, twisting the handle. And that's the bit that always confused me. Is like I, I was trying to like invert the, the way that the mouse was going. And that's why I could never get this thing to work properly to start with. That was my mistake. That's done. Six of ten tasks. Close you. You're done in here. What about outside? Nothing to do out there. I've got another window to clean somewhere. Where is this other window to clean? Nope. Not in that room. Gotta be. This one's done. It's gotta be downstairs. Oh! Uh, you know, I honestly thought that that was a basement, that we were heading down into a basement to go and do this. Okay, do that and turn, turn the light on so we can see what we're doing in here. This is really bright. First up, we want to do some cleaning. So we go around and we will very quickly clean. This is going to be the last of the clean. There we go. That is all the clean dirt. We need to clean the window. There. It's the last window now. We've, we only have this one window left. There. Do that bit. There and round there. Perfect. And then mount devices. Which is that one right there. So I've got the radiator. I want to go to... Nope. I'm going to go to Rad, and I want a mountable towel radiator. That one right there. We plonk you on the wall. We go to Assemble. Bit there, and then the cap. That bit there, then the cap. Put that one in place, and then do those up. That one in place, do those up. At no point have we left a pool of shame anywhere in his house. This gentleman's house is done absolutely perfectly. 10 of 10 tasks. Let's do this. 100% complete. 8,373 pounds and 13 pence. Thank you very much. Right, that job actually took us a bit longer than I thought it would. But we have done it. We have successfully done the work for the elderly gentleman in question. Well, I'm assuming elderly. That is a bit of an assumption really, isn't it? Ex-boyfriend stole the radiator. We've already done that. It was the baby on the way. We previously could not get that one done. And it's, it bugs me that we've got that one still on 99%. So we're going to do that now. I'm, I want to get this one to 100%. This one right here. No tasks. We've got paint rooms, furnish rooms. There's, there's, there's things to do. Okay, let's, let's close this one off. I've just got a clean dirt in this room. 
So we can quickly do that one. We need to get this to 100%, this property. 100% or I am not going to be pleased. It's got to be done. 36% clean dirt. We've got a lot of dirt to clean in this house. Yes, that's why with so many bits of dirt here, we could not get that last bit of dirt. There was one bit of dirt somewhere in the house that we could not get. And I can't remember it was. It was one speck of dirt somewhere that we couldn't get to. So there's that first room done. We've got a big room here that we've got to clean. Uh, remove trash and clean. We've got four windows. Let's do these windows first. Because these don't take very long. Get through them quickly like that. There we go. There's one. Next one over here. How quick can I do these? I, I can actually do windows pretty fast. There. All right. I'm liking the speed that I can get through these windows. Right the way over there. Do I get another boost for doing windows? Or is that it now for doing windows? I'm not actually sure. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I've done that one. And i got one more up there. Maybe not do them too far. I need to get right out to the edges, I think, to make sure that I do them properly. I think if you whiz along them too fast also, you can cause some issues. There's the odd bit that I think I'm missing. There was a bit down there that was missed. There we go. Right, there's the four windows done. We need to remove some trash. So we do all, we'll do. we remove all the trash next from this room. you got a baby on the way and this is how you've been living? Quite frankly, I think this is terrible. Clean dirt now. That's the last thing we've got to do is we're clean the dirt. So this room, I don't think it was this room that I had the trouble. There was a bit of dirt, but I can't remember which room it ended up being in. Um, I had a feeling it was the room that was converted into the baby's room. But I'm not 100% sure on that really remember okay so we've done those bits i've got two bits of dirt left here at the ah right in the windowsill there they're done so now we come up this end and we take out the floors done and dusted all cleaned up around there and now just along this worktop here i've got one more bit of dirt which is up in that windowsill this room is done excellent first room complete now we have the bathroom yeah, I remember this bathroom. This bathroom was pretty grim. Although we have seen worse. There was the... Wasn't the student house like the absolute worst one of the lot? There was, there was a student house, I'm pretty sure, that was really, really genuinely disgusting. The sort of thing that churned your stomach just looking at it. That is 100% clean. We've got a window to clean right here. Go through and clean that one. I'm pretty sure that cleaning perks, the window cleaning perk, was to do with cleaning in general. Go back here. Price negotiation is one that was doing. Cleaning right there, long range. Uh, see dirt, faster cleaning. No, it wasn't there. Demolition. Painting. Paint more instant painted building. Paint wall. Handyman. Faster plastering. Oh. So what was the upgrade on the cleaning the windows? Cleaning. I got a... Maybe it was something to do with this. Something to do with that. New perks after 401 cleaned elements. Anyway, we, we're done in this bathroom. That one's finished. So next up, we've, we've, we've got two rooms left. There's this one in here, which has... Oh, no, that's outside. So let me go to this one here, and I remove all of these items like this. Uh, clean the window, clean the dirt. I'm going to make the bed. Let's clean the window a minute. And then we'll go off after the dirt as well. And that's going to be another property has been cleaned. We've successfully got to 100%. As, oh, it's been a blight for us for quite a while. We've had that one property that we weren't able to do. It was at 99%. It was just like this little badge of shame 
that we've had to wear for such a long time and now we're finally able to do something about it and it, it does feel right it feels right that we're finally able to do something about this let's clean that bit Ooh, hang on no where the there's a bit of dirt here somewhere oh dear please don't let there be is is, is this the room that we couldn't finish is there one bit of dirt in this room somewhere that we can't reach? And it's going to become our ultimate shame? It could be. We've got more around here. There's a bit and there's a bit. Uh, all around, yeah, all the way around that one. That's most of it except for something around here. But where, oh, there, right there on the wall, right behind it. This room is done. This room is done. It's okay. We have successfully completed that room. We've got one more room in here. And, oh, maybe it was this room. I think what it was, was there was a cobweb that I couldn't get to. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the cobweb. Right, so we've removed all of that. We now need to clean and remove all the dirt. Because it was 99% that we were at. And 99% does very strongly indicate that the reason we couldn't do it was because we couldn't reach one piece of dirt. And that's what it was. It wasn't anything other than one piece of dirt that didn't let us complete the job. And I got a feeling that it wasn't actually a piece of dirt at all. It was, in fact, a cobweb. And the cobweb wouldn't interact properly. But there doesn't appear to be any cobwebs here, which I'm taking as really quite favorable a really really good thing there's that bit out of the way and then i've got these bits over here. There's one piece next to the radiator over there somewhere we need to get that one's gone that one's gone and that one's gone there one piece here somewhere there it is on the floor okay we're clean we've got two windows to do they should be fairly simple, and then I think we've got painting to do in this room, and then a bit of furniture to buy, because it was making room for a baby, wasn't it? There. It's that room, uh, um, that window rather, and then this one, over like that, all the way round. Yeah, I did miss a little bit on that. Up there, look. There we go. Right. And paint pastel pink. So we get the paint now. Go to the store. Come out of there. And I will go pastel pink. Like that. Buy now. Place you on the floor. I actually think I'm going to be using two tins of this. So I'm going to drop two tins of the stuff down in here. Paint. I'm going to start with this one. And I'm going to start by going around the windows. Like I have done previously. Yeah. Right. Need a bit more. I'm going to just use that tin paint over there to start with, if I can. And I'll go right away along there like that. That's already used it up. Go right into that corner, and we'll come back round to that corner in a minute. There. And now we'll keep going. We'll just work our way round from that corner, which will get us to about here somewhere. And we can go for another load. Right the way in under there, like that. Uh, I really do love the painting perks that we've got. They make such a massive difference. We are now able to complete the order if we want to. I do not want to complete this order. No, the whole idea of this is that we must achieve 100%. It's all or nothing for us today, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be all or nothing. We either go all the way or we go home a failure. That is, that is the plan today. Get it all done or go home a failure. Right, there's next lot of paint. Get onto there, all the way around over here, getting painting over all this lovely yellow that we got right here. I say lovely yellow. This is this is really not a yellow that I would personally pick. A little bit brighter here now. We can see what we're doing a bit better. There yeah, and. Ooh, I think that was it for the paint. I think we've now run out of paint. There. Nope, there's, there's no more. Nope. I was right. We did need two. We don't actually need very much out of the second tin, but we did need to get two tins. I'm getting good at estimating the levels of paint that we're going to need. 
And that is now done. So we'll sell those. Get them out of the way. Can I sell? No, I don't want to earn money this way. <laughs> I do. I really do. I can assure you I've got no qualms about selling the, the, the stuff from the customers' houses. So we need a crib to go in here and... Blue, light blue with the drawer. Yeah, let's go like that and yeah, let's go for it. Let's, let's go with light blue, shall we? They've done everything here in pink, so I'm going for light blue for the actual crib itself. Um, bookcase, cowl. Cowl, I think that's the, the, the square. Yeah, that one there. Yes, that's all squares. So we're going to go bright yellow with this one. It's a little kids room this is so we're, we're gonna we're gonna we go for nice really brightly colored things we want a changing table in here changing cabinet with changing table that one right there uh we can go pink Ooh, i like that now we'll go with the white doors and that i like that i, I like that color combination I don't know why that looks quite cool. Uh, two times poof. Does it say what color poof we need? I don't know if it says what color we need or not. But we've got there, the poof right there. But it doesn't state the color, does it? So I'm going to go with. Let's go with green. Buy many I need for this. I'm going to put one that side. And, uh, you know what, I'm just going to put them both this side because, um, mum or dad, when they come to deal with the baby, they might want to sort of set, stretch out a little bit onto that while, while they're dealing with the baby. Uh, there we go. So that's, that's the baby's room. I actually quite like this baby's room. I'm very proud of the baby's room right here. It's not, not a lot of, yeah, really doesn't have a lot has gone into it, but still, it's done. We have completed the order, 100%, 6,202 pounds and 32 pence is now ours, which means that we now have an account balance of over 600,000 pounds. We're on our way to making a million pounds. So now if we go into archive, 100% on every single one of them. Uh, and we're getting more and more jobs coming in, like loads of them. And some of these are not ones I've seen before. A few days ago, I bought a house at extremely bargain price. The price was influenced by two factors. For many months, no one wanted to buy the house, and also a certain unwanted guest lived there. I am talking about a man who, unnoticed, moved in and stayed there for a few days before he's found by the police. This guy made quite a mess during his stay. Trash, crates, newspapers lying on the floor, and an unidentified substance covers most of the floors. And it seems that someone threw up on the fridge. <laughs> Being a person who rejects the very sight of the current state of the house, I kindly request to clean up the house I bought. I would also ask you to solve problems with the electricity. I accept. I will do this for you, sir. I will do this for you. I will make sure that this house... Uh, right. Cla tasks. Clean dirt. I've got to clean dirt on the outside of the house. Right. We haven't had to do this before. Is it... Is, is there dirt on the outside of the house? I don't see any. Looking round here. Um, I can clean the window. Getting fed up with cleaning windows, it's got to be said. Say, well, see, it, it's saying clean dirt, but I'm not really getting a strong vibe that there is a great deal of dirt on the outside of this house. Me think that bit might be mistaken. Let's go inside. We'll have to come back to that bit. Ah! ah. Okay, I, I was saying, can, can someone hear running water? Can anybody hear water running? No, it's, it's not water running. It's cockroaches again. Got loads of them. Good gravy, man. This, this is... This is Pull out the vacuum cleaner. This is this is pretty grim. This is pretty grim. If you walk around on them, they crunch. By the way, you, you get lots of crunching. Let's let's pull out this old vacuum cleaner here. Look at them go! Look at them go! I I asked people previously if you wanted me to leave the cockroaches in or if you wanted me to 
change it to the option where you've got the pieces of glass for people that really don't like them. One person said they want the pieces of glass. Everybody else said leave them as they are. So I'm very sorry to the person that wants the glass. Uh, I'm afraid everybody else would like to leave them in. So, um, yeah. Sorry about that. We, we are going majority rules on this. Right. There. Yeah. Oh. There's one more individual trying to make his escape across the side there. It's not going to happen. Uh, like that. There. Let's pick up all the trash first in this room. I've got more trash. Okay. Trash has now been removed. Pretty sure I can hear more of those creatures. I can definitely hear more of them. Somewhere. This house is filthy. Like, whoever moved in here for a short period of time, he certainly left his mark in here, didn't he? I'm hoping that the police have managed to persuade him that this is not the way to live. Right? There are other ways of doing it. And this is not one of them. Just clean up that bit. We're not going to be able to finish... Oh! Yeah, there, there was some up there on the tabletop, but we've managed to sweep them away now. Go right into the corner in here and clean all of this out. Look at that. Look at the filth in this place. It's disgusting. Has it got any on the ceiling? No. All right, we're, we're sort of clearing everything up. We've got a load on the sofa, and that's that's all gone now. Um, I had more there. I've got another bit here. Oh, that was around the fridge. That's all gone as well now. Let me clean the windows. We've also got to clean the windows. Uh, the, yeah, I'm not going to have time to complete this house today, I don't think. So we're going to have to carry that one on in our next episode. Um, I've had several people saying that you'd like me to spend a little while working on these different jobs. Rather than just buying another house and going for that. I will eventually buy another house. But yeah, we can work through several of these jobs for a bit. And see what we can earn from them. Keep going with building up our supply of cash. Get that one done up there. The cleaning that we do here also should help us towards our next long-range mop. We've got... Well, we had 400 items still to go. Let's go back to perks over here. Cleaning. 225 now. We're down to 225 cleaned elements needed in order to be able to get the next perk. I can hear more cockroaches somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I can hear them. They're around here somewhere. Uh, clean the window, mount devices. I am 97% clean in here at the moment. There's a bit here. Oh, there's a bit. There, 98%. There's oh, some stuff over there. Uh, there's a bit on this door as well. Yeah, that's gone. 100% clean dirt. Right, that this room is now finished. We have done that, and there's going to be something in here, I think. Mount devices. Ah, there we go. We've got to put that one back together. Let's take you over there. Do you. And you like that. Pull you out. I can hear another horde of cockroaches somewhere. We're going to need to do something about that. We'll do that. We'll do that this episode because you can hear them. Just, just, just. I don't know if you can very well. I don't know how well it's going to come through, but um, I can definitely hear them. So this big room here is done. We're finished in here. Let's go into this room here. There's none of them in this room. In here, nope. This one, and uh, nope again. Oh. There they are. I knew there were more. I knew there were more here somewhere. So let's clean this lot up a minute. Just like that. And then pull out the vacuum cleaner. And just quickly get rid of this lot. So that anybody that does have issues with this, we won't have any here in our next episode. At least that's the plan. We've gotten rid of most of them. There. That's pretty much... All of them gone. See, we don't get hordes of cockroaches like this in the UK. At least not where I'm from. You destroyed the cockroach nest. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we don't. Not in, not 
like this. And I know that, like, in the US, it's... Um... Is it the US? I, I'm pretty sure in the US. You get, like, absolutely loads of these things, don't you? We've got a trouble. We've got some trouble with the electricity here somewhere. Go into there. I'll take that one out. Put a new fuse in. Oh, you're already done. Close. Well, that's that bit done. Destroy the cockroach nest. Mount devices. So I've got a... Ah, I've got that one down there to do. So let me do that bit a minute. Oops. Like that and like that. I'll just do this one here and then we're going to call it quits for today's episode. We will carry on with this in tomorrow's episode. Well, our next episode, I should say. Um, we'll carry on with this next time. And I'm going to keep going with a few more jobs for a little while. I'm not sure how long we'll just we'll keep doing jobs. But I will keep going for a little while. I've got to remove... There's still some more trash to remove from in here. And I want to clean a load of dirt. Oh, there's the trash. It's that item there. Yeah, we've done that. I can clean it. I'll finish cleaning this room while I'm down here. Oh, this might take longer than I thought. No, it should be all right. It's not going to take all that long. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on doing some more jobs. I'm, I'm sort of quite enjoying the, the difference with getting our own house and going all the way through. It's nice doing that, but it's also quite good being able to go through and just do these jobs. It's kind of like um, removes some of the pressure of making choices, doesn't it? I, I know what I'd like to do for one of the next houses that we buy. I've got this idea of doing like this massive open plan sort of thing how well that's going to work I don't, I don't really know so we, we'll wait and see on that one could it could work out very well actually on the other hand it could be an abysmal failure right that room is done so if you've enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching there we go i've done it now this is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.